world, welcome to the 77th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the fourth video in my Shane update playlist, and I'll put a link in the description so you can see this whole playlist. Uh, make sure you've watched all the videos to this point because we're jumping in right in today's topic on top of the code we've already done using Pygame to create our heads up display. So today's video is going to show off a real example of how multi-threading or threading works. Threading is how Python does tasks simultaneously and in terms of my digital assistant Shane we're going to quickly see how I, I turn on the heads up display and then it's also going to use speech recognition and text to speech and those are two separate functions that will happen at the same time. We're using Python Pygame to do the heads up display. Um, I do have it forward facing to my face and we've discussed this in previous videos how that's unrealistic and the Iron Man movies do that so you can see the actor Robert Downey Jr's um, expressions through his heads up display. They flash a little blue light on his face but he would be looking out and they rarely give that viewpoint. So, but until I can figure out how to use my external webcam with Pygame, so if there's any Pygame experts, please leave a comment below and uh, see if you can help me out. So we're gonna start off by running the heads up display and then you'll see down here that it'll be listening and we'll talk to Shane. Here we go. Shane. Yes, sir. All right, pretty simple, right? So at the same time, it ran the heads up display while I did, um, you know, it listened to me and it said, yes, sir. So let's check that out again. Shane. Yes, sir. So you can see it says listening down here. And then if this is your first time seeing my video, please watch the playlist. You can see that um, the, we can show the power status, battery power, how much battery is remaining, time, date. And the uh, if I had an Arduino board connected, you could see the uh, list of external devices. All right, so let's close this out. Alright, so what motivated me to create this video is threading is a pretty advanced topic and I've only seen it done in tutorials that had no real world application. So if you feel the same way, I'm hoping this helps you out. So we're going to ignore all this, but let's say you have your own application that has several imports and then you'll need to import threading. I believe it's part of the Python standard library, so you don't have to pip install this. And then you have to create functions. So each one of your threads or functions have to be in itself. And so we created one called threading example. That's not what I'm going to call it. I'm actually going to um, the logic behind me being able to conversate with Shane that will go here. But for now, our first thread will be called threading example. And uh, it's listening to me. Shane can hear me. This is using Python speech recognition, so please watch my channel so you can see how I did that. And then this is speech to text, so I also have a video on how to implement that. So the next one, we're not going to go over this, but this is the next function, GUI overlay. And so this is using Pygame, Pygame camera, to draw the heads up display using my webcam. And this is how you do threading. So first, you define the thread. This does not start the function, right? You're just creating a variable called t1 or whatever. That's the most common that you'll see because that's self-explanatory. So t1 equals lowercase threading dot uppercase thread parentheses target equals and then the function that you want to call first. So notice how this is not threading example parenthesis because that would be calling it to start and we don't want that. It would never proceed to this one. So don't do this. This is wrong. Then 
T2 equals lowercase threading dot uppercase thread target equals the next function you want right ran GUI overlay so those are the only two functions I have if you have more functions that you need to somehow operate simultaneously you do T1 through T5 and um, you know if, if you're new to Python you know that it doesn't do things at the same exact time except to our human perception it does look it like it but it's actually switching kind of back and forth if you go through some tutorial hell you'll see that um, people use print statements to track how threading actually works but I wanted to give you a full uh, real-life example then you just use t1 which we defined up here dot start t2 dot start and what it'll do is it'll start here right you're actually calling these threads and it'll start the listening the speech recognition function at the same time it's drawing or same time to our eyes the function that you want next which in our case is the GUI overlay so watch down here again I'll clear the console you'll see that it'll start the Pi game and it'll say listening at the same time because what it's doing is it's starting this and then it's doing this right here get input and if we go to that function you'll see I wrote print listening and then it'll also do this pi game and one of the debugs is to print to console so let's watch this again Shane yes sir okay you can see that it says it started the pie game then it went to listening and then it listened to what we just talked about all right so threading is an incredibly important concept to learn and I hope this video help, video helps clear it up using a real example in an application leave a comment if it helped you if you were also struggling to ha see how to use it while going through um, the infinite tutorials out there so thanks for watching goodbye world